two-part tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build assessments in Schoology and also how to deploy the Respondents Lockdown Browser to ensure the integrity of the assessment. So we see here on my landing page that I'm in my American Literature GBlock class and I'm going to go to Add Materials and I'm going to go to Add Test or Quiz. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to give it a name, uh, give it a specific due date, uh, category, and then you can either publish or unpublish this to students. And I'm actually already done this to save time for today, so I'm just going to open up and edit this one that I've already made. So when you make an assessment in Schoology, uh, you have the ability to add questions, and when you click there, you'll see a variety of different question types, short answer, fill in the blank, so depending on what you like to assess, uh, choose that, so on and so forth. However, what's a good feature of Schoology is that you have customizations on how you can set the test preferences up. So on the settings tab up here, I'm just going to go down and if you want to, you can enable this uh, to a certain window that students will complete by a certain time, which is very handy. Uh, do you want this to actually have a time limit? Uh, that's also a nice feature uh, to ensure that students are focused on the test and not browsing. Uh, do you want to give students more ability to assess, uh, to assess or attempt more than one time? You can do that here. And you can also have one question per page. This uh, minimizes distractors as they're working. And then as you do that, you can change these. And all the time, uh, we finish hit save changes. So now that I've created my basic tests, I see that here, I see my questions, and I've already customized my settings. In the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to administer the assessment you just created in Schoology with the Respondus Lockdown Browser. So we see that I've created this assessment, and from this I can publish or unpublish or copy this to courses as needed. But uh, this Respondus Lockdown Browser allows you to have students administer or take the assessment without having to, without the ability to veer off to other browser tabs or to search the internet or to take screenshots or to chat. So uh, I'm just gonna click on this assessment that we made in the previous example. And you'll see on my left side navigation bar, there's this lockdown browser. So once I click on this, and the first time that you install this, there'll be a window that asks you to authorize this for your courses. But since I've already done this, I see um, the tests and quizzes I've made are now uh, able to uh, use through the Respondents Lockdown Browser. And so with this example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to go Modify Settings. And now that I've done that, I'm going to require Respondents Lockdown Browser for this exam. And when I save and close, my students take this, it'll automatically start up the browser for them. It'll lock them into that. Uh, if a teacher, as a teacher, if you want to discontinue the assessment anytime, just type in the word escape, but this will ensure the integrity of your assessments.